Hey guys, welcome to Chit Chat with QT, where I discuss reality TV, hot topics, entertainment, and more. Please make sure to like this video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. All of my topics are my opinions only and is for entertainment purposes and everything is alleged. So let's get into the video, guys. Funky Dineva spills some tea about Martel and Sheree. Now, I'm sure you guys remember a couple weeks ago, Funky Dineva made a comment on the post. That was when Martel had made all of those posts and how he said that he didn't want Mel's brother and his husband or men in general watching his kids. And Funky Dineva called him out on that. And he said it was because Martel didn't want anyone that was gay to watch the kids. So let me read that comment and then I shall be back with my commentary. So Funky Dineva said, you lying. It's because he's gay. He's their uncle for crying out loud. I watch my two sisters kids all the damn time and it ain't a problem because they know I'm their brother and I love my nieces and nephews like they are my own. So if Marcus was a female, then the issue magically goes away? Child, please, this is retaliatory. Martel knows Marcus don't F with him and he mad. No judge is going to agree that the mom's brother with no criminal history of child endangerment or anything of the sort can't look after the kids. I bet Mel regrets ever marrying this man. I would have slit my wrist by now. Every damn day y'all fighting. It's exhausting. Stop it already. Y'all kids feel this energy. So yeah, Funky Dineva was hot back then. And he said Mr. Martell called him about that comment. So he said Martell called him three weeks ago. I guess basically calling himself gonna check Funky Dineva and Funky Dineva said he basically smelled the bullshit through the phone. He said Martel gave off his typical narcissistic know-it-all energy and Funky Dineva wasn't feeling it at all. And this is the same energy that Martel has always given. You know, I just think back to the first season where Martel had a lot of folks fooled. And I'll admit, including myself. Now, I won't say the whole first season, but a couple episodes in, I thought Martel was the breadwinner, the, the businessman, the Mr. Everything. That's what I thought. You know, naturally, we learned early on that he was cheating, but I still thought that he had more going for himself. And I'm telling you, those narcissists, they're good. Very good. Most of them should really look into being actors because they're definitely good at it. But anyway, Funky Dineva got to the point of mentioning Martel because he was discussing how Sheree basically tried to skirt over the viewer question that was asked on last week's Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion. And the viewer comment was to Sheree, how could she be with Martel after how he treated Melody? And Sheree said that Martel is totally different than what he is on the show. She said, yes, watching Martel on the show, she couldn't see how anybody could want to date him. But in person, he's totally different. Now, who does that sound like? If that's not coleslaw, it's not what you see on the show. He not like that. And Sheree, at her old ass age, is falling for the same trick. But Funky Dineva called bullshit on that as well. Because he said that if he was able to feel Martel's energy, as far as him being narcissistic and think that he just knows every damn thing through the phone, he's sure Sheree should be able to feel it with Martel inside her. And when I tell you I screamed, 
I screamed when he said that because that's really, really true. You know, it's time for people to stop ignoring red flags. Red flags are red flags for a reason. And Martel couldn't touch me with a 10-foot pole. The way he's carried on with mail and the way that he conducted himself when it came to coleslaw. There is nothing appealing about that. I don't care how much money he may have, and we know he doesn't have much. So I don't get the appeal with Sheree. Again, we don't know if this is a, a storyline. She did tell Andy on that reunion show that she didn't say that he was her boyfriend, but they had been dating for a couple months. So are you dating exclusively? Because if so, that's your boyfriend. So, you know, let's not try to diminish that fact. If you're dating for a couple months, getting to know him and all of that, you're interested in spite of his past. And then Funky Dineva dropped a little more tea about Sheree. Now we know that Sheree got pregnant at an early age. Funky Dineva said allegedly she was in middle school. And that really adds up because I think Sheree had her daughter, her oldest daughter at 14. But... Funky Dineva said that Sheree doesn't even have a high school diploma. And that's something that I didn't know. You know, you, it's a lot of girls that got pregnant at an early age, but were still able to finish school, go to college, and all of that. And I'm not calling Sheree dumb at all. But that sort of makes sense to me as far as how she seems to have a problem with effectively communicating. You know, she always skirts around the issues. The answers are not to put together. And she reminds me of Martell when it comes to that. So thank goodness they won't be having any kids together. Because baby, you know, that's that's just not a, a good recipe, if you ask me. But Funky Dineva's recap was very, very good. Like I said, he dropped some tea. He also said that after all of these years of Sheree being on Real Housewives of Atlanta, and I basically said this too, we really don't know much about Sheree. We don't know about the struggles of her being a teenage mom. We don't know anything about Sheree. And she's not real. And that's the, the thing. The name of the show is Real Housewives of Atlanta, but she's one of them that has not been real. So yeah, you guys make sure to go and check out Funky Dineva's video. I think he dropped it yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Like I said, it was very good. Not only about what he dropped about Martell and Sheree, but just about the other castmates on uh, Real Housewives as well. Very, very good. So make sure you go check that out. And let me know your thoughts. Did you know that Sheree didn't finish high school? Do you think that... Sheree and Martell are really dating? Or do you think that it's just a storyline? Also, should Sheree pay attention to the red flags? And if she was doing that, she wouldn't have dated him, been seen in public with him, walking, holding hands in New York. None of that. Not only what the man did with Mel, but his side chick, Coleslaw, the way she's carried on out in the public. And just wait until Kenya gets all the information on coleslaw. Kenya knew a little, but you could tell that what she mentioned on the show, all she said is Martell got somebody else pregnant and had a baby. Wait until Kenya get all the deets. So Sheree shouldn't have ever entertained Martell. And I guess we'll wait and see how that turns out. But let me know your thoughts. Drop down in the comments. Let's chit chat about it. Also, Please make sure to like the video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. Chat with you guys soon. Bye.